couple weeks ago, I got sent this baseball. I wish that I had actually shown you guys it prior to using it a little bit, but here it is. But this isn't just an ordinary baseball. This baseball has the ability to sync up right to your phone and provide you with tons of different metrics that you see used across all levels of baseball nowadays. When they sent over this ball to me, they told me, hey, give us your feedback, let us know what you think of it. So in today's video, I'm gonna do just that. My friends over at PitchLogic actually hooked me up to help you guys out if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. If you head on in to the link in the description, there are a couple of different discounts that you guys can get on purchasing the ball itself or one of the many subscriptions that they offer. Now let's check out this thing in action. We're gonna cover a few things in today's video in terms of how you can use the PitchLogic ball, what it looks like in the app, and then just a review on what I think it may be good for. Starting out with, let's show you how this thing can get set up. It's actually pretty simple. All you're gonna need is the baseball, and your phone. On your phone, you're gonna open up the F5 Sports Pitch Logic app. From there, all you need to do is hold the ball close to your phone and press this little button down here. I forgot to charge it, so we're gonna go do that now. All right, so now that we're all charged up, so you can see here that that little bar at the bottom turns green. That means you're connected. All you gotta do, hold them next to each other, press that button, and you're good to go. No other setup required. It's a lot dirtier job than doing this at home with the uh, whiteboard animations. All right, so now we're gonna take this puppy to the mound. Like I showed you, we're already connected on the phone, so I'm gonna set this down over here, throw a pitch, and then we can dive into what this thing's saying. I know you couldn't see it, but I kind of painted the corner there. <laughs> Don't worry, we're all good, fix the camera. On the phone, you can see on top, we're gonna have our clock. That's gonna tell us our spin axis, our arm angle. In the middle, it's gonna give us some release information, talking about total spin, backspin, side spin, and then the velocity of that pitch. Then we have some options here in this bottom quadrant that gives you information on delivery, basically you going back and forward. Then of course, your horizontal and vertical movement chart. You can see the inches displayed at the bottom every single time, but you can also go up and check out a scatter chart for how those pitches are moving as well. Even if you wanted to, can collect some video through the app or review your movement profile based on a 3D rendering of exactly where the ball was as it traveled towards the plate. My other favorite thing about this app is something that you can't get from any other information out there right now. You can take a look here and you can see that there is a 2D clock here and a 3D clock. The 3D clock has something pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it there, but that orange line is actually telling you which finger released the ball last as well as the path it traveled to get there. So let me throw another pitch, maybe a slider, and you can see how this comes around the ball rather than straight back around the ball just like that did. All right. So that time we threw a slider. The total spin is 1620 and the spin efficiency is only 13%, meaning almost all of that pitch had gyro spin. If you look at the orange track up top here, you can see that it started in the front of the ball and came around the side. Whereas if we select our previous pitch, you can see that it started on the front of the ball and came all the way around. Another cool feature of this guy is you can actually throw it into a net and it's gonna tell you how far you're throwing. So. That's a really cool perk if you are like us and have to train indoors for any portion of the winter. So I'll give you an example of that real quick. It estimated 174 feet. So if you're forced to be inside and you're playing long toss, this is a great tool to be able to actually gauge how far you're throwing. It's pretty cool that this little baseball can do all of that straight to your phone. The even cooler part about it is with their pro membership, you can get a CSV download of all the pitches you threw. So you can put them into custom reports just like we do with our TrackMan report. So now I'm gonna take you guys back into the whiteboard animations to show you what this thing is actually spitting out every time you're throwing a pitch. So the PitchLogic app is a pretty straightforward dashboard to use. It can be done on a tablet or your phone, but for the purpose of today's video, we'll stick to how it looks on the phone. Some of these options are only available in the pro version of the app, so be sure to check out their website for more information on that. All right. So let's start out at the top and work our way down. The base display of this app shows a 2D clock that indicates your spin axis in blue and your arm slot in yellow. This is the same as you've seen across many other platforms in the past, so we won't spend much time here. Below this, we have a total spin section. This indicates what is typically referred to as spin rate, the measure of how fast the ball is spinning. Below that, we have another number you are probably familiar with, spin efficiency. This is the measure of the total spin aiding in the movement of the pitch. The higher this number is, the more useful spin you have. The number to the right of this section is the total amount of gyro spin that pitch has. And the two numbers below indicate the direction of spin for that individual pitch. 
Then of course we have our velocity figure, which is another pretty straightforward metric. Below there we have our delivery tab, which indicates the amount of time you spend going backwards from hand separation to the amount of time you spend going forward. The number on the right here is what is typically referred to as a pitcher's extension, or the distance in front of the rubber that the pitch was released. And finally, we have the total break in the vertical and horizontal directions that the pitcher puts on each pitch. This can be a confusing topic for some to grasp, so if this metric or any others have you caught up on something, be sure to check out the videos in the description diving into each of those metrics in depth. The last thing we have to cover here is the tabs on the app. If you select one of the tabs across the top here, you will get a new display. This one being the 3D clock. It has a little bit more information than the 2D version. Of course we still have our arm slot and spin axis, but now we have a diagram of the exact seam orientation at release, as well as this new orange line which indicates the path your last finger took to leave the ball up until release. That has some pretty cool applications in pitch design. You can also bring up your typical horizontal and vertical movement plot. Another option is to have the app automatically record video of each pitch from whatever angle you set your phone up to, and then a 3D rendering of the exact path the ball took towards the plate. Pretty cool stuff here, all packed into a single baseball. My final review of the Pitch Logic Ball. So my final review of the Pitch Logic Ball. I really like this thing. It's super easy to use, it gives you a ton of information, and on top of that, it gives you a CSV output. So you can do all sorts of different analysis, more so than you could do with any other mobile product on the market. The fact that it's all inside this little baseball is awesome. And you definitely plan on seeing more appearances from this little guy in simple sabermetric videos in the future. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you in the next one. You thought we were done? No. Still got to cover up the mound. So, what do you guys think about these in-person videos? I think I really like them. They're kind of fun. They're different. It gives me an ability to do some different things, but of course you'll see some whiteboards sprinkled in here and there. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying these, and uh, let me know down in the comment section if you do. Also, go and check out PitchLogic. They're in the description. If you currently don't have a way to collect data for your pitchers, this is an easy and cheap way to do it. Check out that link in the description. We'll see you in the next one.